Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Techcraft and uh, here in this video, we are going to take a look at this Lineage OS Oreo ROM that is for the Redmi Note 4 installation and root guide with some tips and tricks. In order to flash this ROM, first we need two things. One is unlocked bootloader and the other is TWRP. If you haven't unlocked your bootloader yet, check the guide for unlocking bootloader in the description. Once you are done with unlocking bootloader and uh, flashing the recovery, boot to the recovery by uh, holding volume up and power button. In the recovery, first we need to wipe the current OS. In order to do that, select wipe from the home screen. Advanced wipe and select Dalvik, system, data and cache partitions. Remember you should not wipe the internal storage because it's gonna wipe everything on your device. And now select swipe to wipe to wipe the entire partitions that uh, we just selected right now. Now it's time for flashing the ROM itself. So for that go to the home screen and then select install. And uh, here you have to select the required ROM files which are the lineage OS which is the ROM itself. And the second one is the gapps for Android Oreo. And the third one is the fix for factory reset issue. And the final one is for rooting your device which is magic so you can use any version of your choice. So once you are done selecting swipe to confirm flash and after successful flash reboot your device. So this is the android warrior rom for uh, redmi note 4. So after flashing the rom for some reason I didn't find the magic app. So I just installed the magic manager app from their website so just downloaded the magic manager app. And just install it and uh, it is already rooted my device and uh, even that safety neck check was also successful so as you can see if the default AOSP keyboard app crashes for you you can download the Gboard app from the Play Store that is a Google uh, keyboard app and it is working fine coming to the working and uh, non working things on this ROM first the Wi-Fi is working but uh, it's buggy sometimes it takes time to switch on but uh, once you connect it to the network, I haven't noticed any specific issues. As you can see, the screen is hang for a moment. But if you can wait for a 30 seconds to 1 minute, as you, know, you can see the available network uh, like on the screen. Bluetooth is not working. I haven't uh, tried the casting. Network is working fine. As you can see, the geo signal on the status bar. I haven't noticed any drop calls or drop signals. Uh, the signal is consistent and uh, it's very good but one thing to note is uh, the OLT is not working uh, OLT is not working on uh, any of the Oreo ROMs for now and uh, hotspot is uh, it shows that hotspot is active and it is working but uh, I wasn't able to connect to the hotspot network from other and uh, good thing is uh, the USB tethering is working so if you want to share your mobile network you can uh, use the USB tethering option here. I am using the Geo 4G voice app and uh, the app is very good it's like I don't have any connection issues with that app. So previously with some of the devices I had issues with the uh, Geo 4G app because uh, sometimes the connection just disconnects and then I wasn't able to receive any SMS or call. Coming to the sensors functionality almost all the sensors are working on this ROM. So the gravitation sensor, the accelerometer, the magnetic field, compass, the gyroscope and uh, proximity sensor, every sensor is uh, just working fine. So there are no issues regarding the sensors. There are no problems with audio and uh, video playback tools. Like I have tried couple of uh, music apps and couple of video playback apps, uh, the default gallery app and the MX player uh, app. So I haven't noticed any such issues regarding uh, video playback. Initially, I wasn't able to uh, play videos with MX players and uh, after I made a few changes to the build.prop, I wasn't able to uh, play the videos with MX player. The issue is with that uh, some of the app apps were not able to access the internal storage and that is why uh, some of the apps failed. One of the XDA member has uh, posted a solution for this issue. And the solution is simple one, just open the build.prop app and uh, search for SD card and you'll find this parameter called rvo.system.sdcardfs so the default value is true so you have to change the value from to, true to false save it and just reboot your device GPS and uh, compass both works fine with the maps app I didn't find any issues 
maybe it's not that effective compared to the normal stable ROMs. The new Google HDR Plus camera port is also compatible with this ROM. As you can see, it's like uh, the app is opening fine and the viewfinder and all other settings. And you can take the pictures in uh, HDR Plus, Auto HDR Plus and uh, without HDR. And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the front camera is also working fine uh, for the still pictures. And uh, for the video recording, we have uh, two options. We, we can record the video either in 30fps uh, or 60fps. The only thing that's not working with this uh, camera is the slow motion camera. Google Assistant works. Hello. Hey there, how can I help? Audio looks a lot like Android Nougat but it is much more polished. Now you can change the icon shapes and we also have the icon badging. You can access these customizations by long pressing on home screen. Another thing I like about uh, Android Oreo is suppose if you are playing any music file from Spotify or Google Play Music, the drop down notification color matches with the color of the album art and uh, it actually gives an immersive feel. Overall, I really like the ROM although some of the features like uh, Bluetooth and uh, Hotspot are not working. I'm fine with that because I'm using um, USB tethering for internet and uh, the audio via headphones is working fine. So that's it guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this, just drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys and take care.